guys welcome back uh, after finishing the masking tape session let's have a look at another tool uh, that is a bubble wrap sheet to give a different textures to our watercolor paintings and the backgrounds we all have that bubble sheet in our home that comes with the packaging material uh, it's having a different texture on top of it it has a little airy bubbles so let's see how we can use this different uh, material to give a unique texture to our watercolor paintings. For this, uh, we will be needing the plain paper, few watercolors and a sheet of a bubble wrap. Take whatever color you want. Uh, here I am going to take the burnt sienna, a brownish shade. Because I just want to take a little darker color. So the texture whatever comes from the bubble sheet will be a little more visible. While getting the texture from the bubble sheet, uh, just take care of one thing. I uh, use little thick color on the paper because if the water content is more on the paper, the texture will not come what we are expecting. So take the color but not too much of water. It should be little thick. Maybe it's not that flowing on the paper but the texture whatever will come from this thick paint will be really nice. Just for the merging, if you need a little bit of water, you can take a little bit of water and just mix it well and give a base coat to the paper. The darker the color, the beautiful will be the effect. So don't take like very light shade, take a proper dark shade so you can see the texture which is coming from the sheet is very visible. Once you are done with the single coat, just uh, wait for some time and uh, it should not be completely dry but it should be in that sheen texture. Sheen texture is the workable texture which is not very dry, not very wet. So wait till it has come to that level. After that, uh, take a sheet of a bubble wrap. On the sheet if you see uh, there are two uh, sides, the one side which is flat and the other side is having the bubbles on it. So the side which is having bubbles on it, that side should face the paper and the other side should be on the top. Uh, place the sheet, press it a little bit on the paper and leave it for uh, around 5 to 10 minutes. After 5 minutes, once it is a uh, little bit of dry, you can see the difference in colors. Take out the sheet from the top slowly and like in upwards direction. So as you see, the beautiful texture came on the color from the sheet. So this is how we should use the bubble wrap. Uh, here we have used this uh, technique to give the background on the page, but you can use the same technique to make some trees or some the foreground objects. 